Uh, David Faulkner, I'm Director of Sport at Milford School and I kindly accepted an invitation to come and talk at the Sports Scotland Hub Forwards Conference around nurturing talent in the pathways or around the pathways of young people um, and doing it in with a comparison to the IMG Academy that's based in Florida. So a little bit of a UK, USA system uh, assessment and looking at what is similar and in terms of contrast and what are our differences. So how important do you feel pathways are um, in sport as a whole and particularly in high performance sport? Yeah, we're more around the development end of developing young people uh, around that and for us we, we're not totally sports centric because the academic area is just as important but getting the balance between the two and making sure that there's guidance and education for the young person through that. It, <laughs> You know, at a younger age, we, we're, we're promoting early diversification, so making sure they do a lot of sports before they narrow in to look at doing, you know, specialist areas yeah, around 16, 17 as, a, as an approach. So how important are, are is educational and self-development alongside sport and development? Uh, vital, because however we like it, the performance spectrum, whether you're an Olympic sport or a professional sport, does this. So not everybody's going to make it. So we've got to make sure that those individuals have a toolbox that if they do fall off the pathway of that sport, that they've got the other skill sets to pick up in any career development, whether they want to go into medicine or engineering or accountancy or, or legal, um, or they want to be a coach or they want to be a volunteer or an official. You know, making sure that, and having strengths to stay in the sport as well, as well as having a balance of a career going elsewhere. So it's making sure it's that, it's that student athlete title that we, we, we promote. So how do you go about putting that in place? What support mechanisms are there? Well, we, we, at Milford we have the Milford Institute of Sport and Wellbeing, so we've put an, we, in part of that delivery is putting an education around the individual, um, looking to improve their self-awareness, uh, recognise and respect what's around them and how that can support them, and making sure there's an education, in particular the most important person is the, are, the, are the parents of the young people, making sure they're educated and they're understood, they understand the process as well, because day to day they're going to rely on the coach and young person relationship but that parent is just as important from there and you've got that academic development sitting there as well to make sure that that's managed and integrated together. And just finally we're now into the second day of the 2016 High Performance Conference, what have you made of it? Uh, I think uh, very, what I find very well integrated, good strong messaging, I think the title New Horizons and where, where you have that, that's what I've come away with is that I've, certainly in some of the keynotes I've sat in in the workshops I've picked up some real good areas one around leadership I would most I've picked up a few things around leadership from Mark with Richard Heinter where he spoke today about um, and for me more awareness around coaching techniques and, and, and in particular how leadership has changed as well in inform, and informing and developing talent